first time I ever heard him defend his job. Well, that's why I've, I've heard some people say that it wasn't that Rubio, it isn't that he's a robot, it's that he's too cautious, you know, and he he may have been just too terrified to deviate from message, you know, which you could you could chalk up as, as a as a positive trait, you know, he's He's got message discipline, yeah. but in the moment, it was a shocking thing to see. It was shocking. I understand he wanted to make the point. Barack Obama knows what he's doing. In Rubio's view, he's destroying the country intentionally, blah, blah, blah. You heard all that. But there's no question that while they all repeat themselves on the campaign trail, right. all of them do, what we saw with Marco Rubio the other night was a shocking moment. It was. It was as if he could not yep. – get himself off of that one line, even when under withering scrutiny and being mocked for repeating himself and sounding like a robot, he still did it two more times after that. And I don't know why he did that. I still don't know the answer to that. But right. there's no question that, you know, it was a it was a a moment for some people that they'll have difficulty getting past. So today in New Hampshire, there are these people dressed like robots following him around. I know. Which is kinda of mean. <laughs> I think so too. I, I would take it. I would take it wrong too if that was uh, if they were following me around. So 